So on the Ender, I'm sorry, the Anycubic uh, Cobra Max, I'm having adhesion problems. I'm not so much adhesion problems, but um, level problems forward and backwards. Um, it It's perfectly level in the front, but it smashes towards the back. You can see how it's kind of like rubbing the plate back here. Um, doing some searching, one guy on YouTube has talked about uh, doing forward and backwards, you have to play with your rails and making sure that this whole Z-axis part that holds the extruder is square to the base, which, yes, makes sense. Um, so we have a tiny gap between the top versus the bottom. And we adjust this by the back rails what you're supposed to do is for me what has worked to get this square is to remove the top screw and this allows you to freely rotate this entire position either more up or more down and for my case the top of this needs to go to the right so Basically, what you want to do is if I push this forward, these, the, the holes align with the bracket and the machine. So if I just push this forward a little bit so it aligns, I'm able to fit my screw in there. And then I can reposition my square a little bit. And now you can see how that gap closes up just by taking the top screw out and if you if maybe maybe the top was touching on your square but the bottom's not that means you need to go to the left a little bit more so all you got to do is take the top screw off this will allow you to rotate this whole gantry uh, rod bar uh, either up or down to either go left or right and you just do this on both sides to make sure that they're both square um, I recommend doing both sides, doing one side, do the other side, and then check the other side again, uh, and keep going back and forth until you fine tune it. But this is the best way of fixing the squareness to the base.